Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Today I will be working on this black canvas here. I could have also just worked with a white canvas and added black gesso to the background, but this one was already uh, done for me. So here I'm using some white gesso just to highlight the whole middle section because I want the colors I'm using to come out bright. So at this point I have in mind to do a very simple abstract. After first uh, using my palette knife, I now use a brush just to fan out the edges. Next I use different colors of heavy body acrylic paints, which are ideal if you want to work with a palette knife. As I said, I had an abstract in mind, but nothing specific, so I'm just playing with some colors. Now I know I use the word simple very often when I work on my projects, but the truth is I really hardly ever do anything complicated. Now I do have many projects that are very involved, that have lots and lots of details and take me quite a while to complete, but they're still pretty simple in their techniques. Anyway, back to my abstract. This will definitely be a very quick project. I I finished the painting and the editing all in one afternoon and sometimes I need these quick projects so in between so uh, I have plenty of time in the week for other things as well and now this week especially was a bit tight because I was camping all last week and it was wonderful to get out of the city and to enjoy some nice warm days before we have another cold front come in actually we had snow yesterday and we have more rain through the rest of the week. So yes, spring is still very hesitant to come to Colorado. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm just uh, intuitively play with my palette knife, no plan, just see what I can do to create some interesting colors and some focal points and so on. Nothing complicated. Now, because this um, project was quickly done, uh, the video is also pretty short, so I want to make it up for you by chatting all the way through with you, which I often don't do. And also I will post some of my camping photos at the very end. I hope you enjoy them and uh, I will definitely be back next week with something a bit more substantial. Anyway, I had lots of fun fiddling here as you can see. Uh, palette knives are really nice to work with because you don't have much control. It's very different to using a brush and especially for abstracts. To me, it's just a perfect tool to make things that are not so deliberate and that are not so planned. So actually at this point, I was called away from my paintings and when I came back, it was completely dry and I took that as a sign to just leave the background just the way it was for now. But then I thought it needs something, something to make it a bit more interesting. And I decided to just do a very quick painting of a young giraffe. So I went ahead with a thin brush and some black acrylic paint, a bit more fluid type, and I just start painting. I did not outline anything. I did it freehand just because it's a pretty simple shape, but also for an abstract, it didn't have to be perfectly proportionate. It didn't have to have all the perfect features. It's just a silhouette. And so I felt comfortable to do it this way. And actually it's a lot of fun to just start painting and not caring so much about every little detail. Now the background of this painting really reminded me of the hot summer sun in the African savanna, and that's how the giraffe came into play. Now, of course, there are many different type of abstracts. Uh, some are a combination of colors and lines and shapes without showing any concrete uh, form. Others include objects or uh, figures or images that are recognizable, but that are not portrayed realistically. And then again, others are a combination of all kinds of different art forms. And uh, that's the beauty about abstracts. There are very few rules. I think you just have to capture an interest. You have to find something that will draw your eyes, be it uh, texture, shape, or color. 
and then just have fun with it. I really enjoy abstract paintings. Uh, don't get me wrong, not all of them. They have to speak to me, uh, but I am especially fond of bright colors in abstract work. And actually, I made a video once on abstract paintings when I first got into it. So I will put the link to that video below just in case you are interested to know uh, why I find abstracts so attractive. <laughs> so here I am adding a few more lines with my palette knife, first of all to anchor uh, the giraffe a bit, and then I will also add some white highlights. And of course I had to add a bit of splatter to the background. And then my painting is pretty much completed. So like always, I hope you enjoyed today's video and it inspired you to maybe give abstract painting a try. It's a very fun and relaxing type of art. Please also enjoy the few photos I'm adding here at the end. Thankfully, we only live an hour and a half away from some very beautiful places here in Colorado. We travel with a 16-foot tiny trailer. It's self-efficient. It has a compost toilet. It has solar power, so we can stay anywhere as long as we like. This last trip was actually at a campground because it's off season and very quiet, but soon we do disperse camping in places where we can avoid the tourist masses. So that's it for today. I see you really soon again, latest by next Friday. Be creative and bye bye for now.